morning. But yeah, I'm gonna find a quieter space. Shit, man. Well, my morning workout is complete. It is 5.15 in the morning right now. I'm on track 4 to catch a train to Zakopane. So for my last two days here in Krakow, my last two full days, I didn't really have much time because I also wanted to do uh, some work at the hostel, which I did already. I had two choices, or stay in the city and go to one of the museums, like the Schindler Museum or maybe the uh, Royal Castle. Or second, I actually came up with this yesterday, is go to Zakopane, which is a town like right on the border between Poland and Slovakia in the south. And it's in the middle of the Tartar Mountain and do a hike there. And I was like, I'm kind of done with the city. I don't know what it is, but uh, a hike in the mountains, breathing some nice fresh mountain air. Yeah, seems like a good plan. So that's why right now I'm at the train station waiting for my train to arrive to Zakopane. And in about three hours we'll be there. And tonight I'm gonna take the train back to Krakow. And then tomorrow I've got another full day to do uh, to do some other stuff. So uh, yeah, I think today is gonna be a cool day. famous thing to visit here is called Morski Oko. Online I did some research, attack the place basically, like all of the all of the hikers, tourists, they go there. Um, not really sure what it exactly is, I think it's like a beautiful like, lake or something like that. Um, but all of these shuttle buses go there. Now I did some further research and uh, I found a blog which talked about a more beautiful place, like a more beautiful walk in a place called Kuznice and there's supposed to be a bus going to that so maybe it's the same bus and it stops on the way I'm not sure so I'm just looking around trying to find uh, yeah, a bus to Kuznice right now after I have some breakfast because I haven't had any breakfast yet so yeah I'm doing that because there will be less tourists and uh, yeah, more beauty I think I hope but yeah we'll see Guys, I made it to Kuznice. This is the last little town before the real mountain starts. Well, look at this, guys. There are a lot of people here. But they're all in line for the cable cart, which is gonna go to the top of the mountain. That's not my plan. I read on this blog that that cable car is like really packed and uh, I think you really have to wait for hours. So I'm not doing that. Instead, I'm gonna go for a walk. I'm just gonna start walking here, slowly climb my way up and I'm not even probably not even gonna go to the top of like the, where this thing goes to because you know that's like what everybody does so my goal here is to avoid the tourist a little bit and uh, see where we'll end up so uh, I'm gonna do the route which I found on this blog and uh, yeah see where it will take me far not so good. You have to buy a ticket to get in. Uh.
So I'm at this hike house, sort of like a road house, but then along the hiking path. And as you can see, it's still very busy here. Um, but from now on, there, is, there are some splits. There's one like fast way back, and there are some ones that are going a bit further and a bit higher. And I'm gonna take one of those, so uh, yeah, we'll see. Luckily, I don't have to go to the toilet because there was like a queue there. Probably like an hour wait before you can go. Craziness. Anyways, let's continue on. Alright guys, made it to the lake. That was just the beginning phase. The walk is really starting right now. I'm gonna go up there. I don't know if we're gonna go up that high, but we gotta cross this range behind me. I see some people walking over there. That's the path I'm gonna follow. Right there, and all the way up there. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready for it. Coming a lot harder, even a bit risky because of the stones. You really have to pay attention. That's not what I'm doing right now, so I feel terribly. But holy shit, it's up! <laughs> yeah, look at that, guys. <laughs> Made it almost. I have the choice, I can go to the mountain, like the real top, but then I have to turn around. I think it's another 300 meter that way. Maybe it's that point right there. Should I do it? Right now I'm halfway there. You know what, let's see how it will go. I'm gonna try it. thing is guys, I'm not really afraid of heights or anything. I know my mom would freak out <laughs> if she was here. No, she wouldn't have much fun. But yeah, I mean, maybe it's not like a sheer drop off, but one misstep, you slip, you're down, way down. Anyways, I'm almost there. This is the path right now. Props to the people that made this path, like I have no idea how they were able to move rocks like this and maybe they were carved or I have no idea but they were able to make this pretty doable path. It's like, yeah, it's just some steep stairs to be honest, not much more than that. Gosh, it's absolutely breathtaking here. Crazy. Alright, 
Time to go back. I'm not looking forward to the first bit at least. It's gonna be awful. <laughs> Unlike cycling, down is definitely not a lot more fun. <laughs> Especially on the steep parts, it's really hard to uh, know where, you, where to put your feet. It's really challenging and then you look down. Gosh, man, it's my first ever like proper, proper, proper hike in the mountains, and it's not easy. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely challenging. It's crazy because I see people just wearing like normal shoes, like Vans and stuff, and I'm like, dude, you know, luckily I've got Nikes, and these are trail running shoes, so they have some traction. You know, I can trust my shoes. Especially when I'm standing on a little bit of an inclined rock, you know what I mean? But yeah, these people don't have that and it's really challenging if you don't have that. I mean, it's sort of comparable. There are some rocks that are wet and I really don't want to set my foot on that because it's really, really dangerous. But the worst part is the top and we've just completed that. So from here it's all easier, all downhill. That's where I was. Ooh, you have another one of those. Hey guys, I'm just taking a break here. Trails behind me. I can see there's another trail right here. People are walking that way. Uh, there and then we or I have climbed that one right there really awesome I'm, a, I'm at about two-thirds right now so I still have one third of pretty flat terrain to go so yeah effort wise we've I think been through uh, three quarters now because uh, <laughs> that was quite a climb I was thinking it, at the end it wasn't even a hike anymore it was just a climb it was a real proper climb I think it's my first like real mountain climb that I've ever done. Really cool. Anyways, I'm just taking a break. Here's the little lake. Beautiful little lake. I am glad I went out of the city and got here. Even though there are still people around. But yeah, it's so worth it. So worth it. You might be wondering, I thought Thais had a beautiful drone. This would have been the perfect opportunity to try it out, especially on top of that mountain. I left it at Sabigniev's house. So uh, yeah, I couldn't fit it all in my backpack and I chose for my, I chose for my DSLR, which in hindsight, eh, drone I think would have been more worth it. And it's a bit lighter as well. It's not smaller, but it's lighter. So that lesson is learned. But I didn't know I was making this little trip, so uh, I don't really feel like droning in the city. So I think that's why I decided to bring the DSLR camera. But still, yeah, would have been nice. Would have been very nice. But yeah, unfortunately, not possible. So tired. It's a pretty interesting place. Oh, sorry, I'm very dark. Wait this way. My shoulder. It's very hurt of the back. That's the thing I need right now, a massage. Anyways, it's a, I think this is a place where Polish people go on vacation, I think. Because I see a lot of Polish people around me. And I haven't really heard any English. Mostly Polish. It's pretty interesting. But, uh, got my food. I'm gonna eat it. Um, 
They're gonna go to the train station buy a ticket. There are two trains going tonight, one at 7.30 in about, in about an hour, and the next one at uh, 10 o'clock tonight, so I don't know which one I'll take. Maybe the last one, because then I have some more time here to relax. And uh, I'll be back in Krakow at one o'clock though, and that's pretty late, but yeah, it's fine. Uh, you know what? I think I'll just take the early train. I'm shattered. My shoulders cannot lift anything anymore. This backpack is great, but for long distances, it's it's only your shoulder that uh, supports the weight. Those real backpacker style ones also have like a waistband, so it's also like supporting on your your hips. Well, mine doesn't have that, so that's um, not great. I feel pretty wasted, so I'm gonna get on the train, maybe get some sleep there, and uh, we'll arrive in Krakow at 10 p.m. tonight. going straight to the hostel I'm gonna crash down and sleep until I wake up I have no idea I'm probably gonna sleep for like 10 12 hours something like that I just want to sleep right now anyways guys that's it for this video I think today was a pretty epic day my legs I don't feel them anymore they're like <laughs> they just keep walking anyways please like the video if you liked it please leave a comment down below Please subscribe if you haven't already. See you tomorrow. Bye.